When it begins, you realize that you can win. You pray at night, cause times is hard, you can't pretend. Look, late nights with long wind. Look, look, when it What's good, crew? It's your girl, Chingaling, and I'm back again with another video. So, your girl, Chingaling, is in this thing. I'm coming to y'all with like a um, QA video because I felt like. There were a lot of questions that you guys were leaving down below. And there probably will be more questions that you guys have to ask. But y'all make sure y'all hit up my Instagram, hit up my other YouTube channel, and y'all can DM me all y'all questions through Instagram or y'all can comment them down below. And I make sure I get them in the next Q&A. And depending on how fast y'all send the questions, then we'll determine how quick I'll do another Q&A for y'all. So I'm just doing like an update. Um, I pretty much asked you guys to ask me some questions that you wanted to know. And um, I'll be answering them today. Just to get y'all, you know, on the same page and understanding where I'm going and what I'm trying to do. So, um, as we hop straight up in here. First question, somebody wanted to know um, how many siblings I have. I have two brothers. And um, yes, I am the middle child. I have one older brother, one younger brother. My older brother is actually like 10 months older than me. So he's like 24. For those who did not know, I am 23 years old. Somebody wanted to know um, how many children I have. I have two children. Um, if you watch this channel, then you know that my third child, Major, came from Andre. So um, technically I had three, but now that I'm alone again, I currently have two children in the home and then Major visits whenever he gets a chance to come. So yeah, that's my baby as well. Um, it's just not my biological child. Somebody also asked about Major. They wanted to know um, where Major is at. He's with Ace right now. Um, he's with his father right now. That's who he lives with currently. And um, I try to get him as much as I can. I'll probably get him this weekend. Y'all probably see him on vlogs and everything because I got some stuff planned this weekend for, you know, Major, Kino, and the baby. So. Yep, make sure y'all stay tuned. Y'all wanna know the ages. Major is four, Kino is five, and Junior is one. Well, technically 15 months, so he'll be two at the end of this year. Somebody asked, did me and Ace break up? Yes, we did. Um, currently, we are separated. We did break up, and that is what it is. Um, I just feel like life sometimes take you in certain directions for a reason and you know I don't fault anything like I'm whatever my decision is whatever my path is supposed to be I'm gonna take it regardless and you know I'm just gonna I'm, I'm rocking with it you know what's going good in my life I stick with that things that are negative I try to eliminate those things so I can do what's best for me and my family you know what I'm saying so that's kind of like what I'm working on. Somebody commented, um, why did I feel like it was okay to change the name of the channel? Um, when technically it was built off of me and you know, so-and-so. Just to be honest, y'all, to be genuinely honest about everything um, behind the scenes, on the front page, it seemed like it was an equal effort. It seemed like we both put in as much work as each other. Like it was a 50-50, you know what I'm saying? But behind the scenes, I did all the editing. Um, I spent all the time setting up cameras. The only time I didn't put my all into it was when he would like vlog sometimes. But other than that, yeah, I edited all the videos. I think I can remember at the time we had 370 videos, 398 videos or something when we broke up at that point i can honestly say i've edited all 300 and 96 of those videos or he literally edited like two videos and those videos were like vlogs vlogs where you just mash it together type nothing special you know and and those vlogs i helped out so it's like i wasn't getting any equal help on the vlogs when it came to setting up the scene, if we're recording, I did all that. 
came to fix in the lighting. I did all of that. Um, so honestly, the channel belonged more to me. And not to mention, I was doing YouTube way before me and him. Um, the whole YouTube thing was my idea. Um, yeah, so I felt like, I mean, I put in most of the work. Everything is under me. You know, I'm doing everything, setting up everything, putting in the effort. So, of course, it's going to go to me. It's not about to, it's not going to do that. It's not going to go the opposite. You know what I'm saying? I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this. And then it's literally days where it's two, it was days where it was two, maybe three videos going up. Or I know for sure we was posting one video a day. And I had no help. So it's like I was the one doing everything. You know what I'm saying? Somebody asked, do I plan to move? Yes, I'm about to move. I'm actually in the process of everything, getting everything together now. So y'all can be on the lookout for that. If y'all want me to drop an empty house tour, make sure y'all comment that below, down below. If y'all want me to drop a, um, a furniture house tour, make sure y'all drop that down below too. And I'll be sure to show y'all, you know, I love sharing everything with y'all. I try to keep everything 100% real, 100% um, genuine. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, that's how I am. So I don't got a lot of kick it and I ain't got to fake it to whip it. You feel me? All right. So somebody commented, um, why would I put our situation on YouTube? If y'all watch the channel, y'all know what our situation is, um, or was. The reason I put it on YouTube was because number one, we were an idol type of, we look like an idol couple, you know what I'm saying, to you guys. And I just don't feel comfortable lying to you. I don't feel comfortable faking it for the camera or none of that. Like, like I understand that being a couple is cool and I feel like that's popular on YouTube and I feel like that's what everybody wanna see. But I don't think it's cool to lie, like to, to put out a false image. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not into that. I'm just not into putting out false images Cause yeah, I mean, together the views was crazy, da 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 this and da da that. But I'm not into faking it for the camera. I would much rather live my life naturally the way it is off camera than faking it for the camera. I'm just not into that. And then not only that, um, for those who watched and were discouraged or felt like, oh, this too much, or if you watch and you thought that I did too much, which I didn't, it's not like I put actual footage you know what I'm saying, of something happening on there. I just showed the evidence on there. Um, you had a choice. You didn't have to click the video. And that's one thing I don't do. I don't clickbait my video. So if you see something in the title that said cheating, this man was cheating on so-and-so or this was happening, you chose to click that. You didn't have to watch it. So all the pain and suffering and whatever the hell you think, devastation or whatever you got from that, you know what I'm saying? Cause I had a lot of people coming to me from different sides of the family, da da this and all of that. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't want to see it, you didn't have to click it. So technically by reading the title, you already knew what the video was going to be about. And then what did you do? You clicked it anyways and you watched it. So that's on you. That's not on me. Not only that, I helped so many women, you know, so many women that felt like they couldn't do it. So many women that felt like, you know, they were devastated, that were in the same situation. Plenty of people hit me up like, you know, you inspired me to not be treated this way anymore. You inspired me to better my life for my children. You inspired me to do better for this or for that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't do things for a revengeful reason. Um, I kind of just state the facts, if that makes sense. I just put stuff up front. Like, I put the truth there. Like, if it's evidence, it's evidence. If it's not, it's not. So technically, I'm not lying. I'm not making up a story. And I damn sure ain't gonna hide it. I'm the same female. If y'all follow my other channel, I put a video up about being molested. So, what makes anybody think that I'm not gonna put any video up? I put a video up about my grandma passing from cancer. What makes you think I'm not gonna share something that's actually happening in my life, you know, with you guys? Why wouldn't I? This is what I do, you know?
being in this type of situation with me, you are, should already know this is what I do, you know? So it's like a respect thing too. Somebody asked about my dad. How is my dad doing? My dad is doing perfectly fine. I haven't heard from him in a minute, but he's real cool. Um, yeah, hopefully I hear from him soon. Hopefully he stop up here one of these days. Um, yeah, my dad is doing good. People say I'm his twin, so funny. Somebody asked if me and Ace ever date again. Um, I don't plan on it. I don't, I definitely don't plan on it. Um, I don't expect it. I'm not looking forward to it, none of that. But I do plan to have a, a good relationship to a certain extent for the child. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say. No, I don't plan on it. I don't look forward to it or none of that. Like usually if I'm dealing with somebody, like when I'm done with them, I just keep it moving. You know, I don't go back and do all the extra stuff. I don't do that. I'm not like other people, you know, I get over stuff. I just accept it, like, it's so hard. I'm just one of those people, I cannot stick with someone who hurts me. And me being hurt, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. It's like hard for me to look at you. Like, if you hurt me, it's hard for me to just look at you. Like, you know, I forgive you and I feel better about not seeing you, but I just definitely can't go back and get hurt again. I'm not taking that chance, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather take a chance with a total stranger than take a chance with somebody who, you know what I'm saying? If that makes sense? Somebody asked, um, I don't, I'm gonna do like two more questions, y'all. Somebody asked, why can't any YouTube couple stay together for their kids? The, my outlook on that is like, that's pretty much what they said in so many words. My outlook on that is like, I'm not about to stay with anybody that is making me unhappy. I'm not gonna stay with you in a relationship, faking it for all of y'all. Like, what y'all wanna see? You wanna see us arguing on camera all the time? Like, that's probably something y'all probably wanna see. I'm not about to sit here and fake it on YouTube. I'm just not. Y'all don't wanna see arguing and fighting all the time and I'm not about to stick with someone just think about it like this. Say we did get over that situation. Time come again, later on. We already know you're capable because it happened the first time. So later on, 10 years later, it's another possibility. I don't want another possibility. I don't want to be stuck with somebody. I don't want to be with someone until my kid is 18, 20, or till they grow, move out, married to this person. And then when my child leaves, we have the same problem. Or when my child moves out, I'm stuck with you and I'm miserable. That's not gonna happen. I'm not doing it. So that's why, personally me, yeah, the kids are more important, but at the same time, my happiness is just as important as well. And if I'm not happy in the household, if I'm arguing, bickering, blah, 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 this, and blah, 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 that, how can I possibly portray a good, good parenting to my child, you know, they're gonna see a lot of anger, a lot of sad times, crying, disappointment. You get what I'm saying? I'm so wrapped up in being disappointed all the time that I'm missing out on giving my child that attention that they need for their growth, you know? So, that's how I look at it. Last question, and I gotta give, um, I'm gonna give a couple shout outs too at the end of this video. Where do you see yourself in five years? Five years, I plan to be somewhere extra gravy. Um, definitely a couple more store locations open. I act, I'm actually in the process. I'm getting ready to do something fancy. I say fancy because, I mean, some people look at stuff as setbacks, but I look at it as step forwards because once I do this, I'll be in a better position for my children, better position for me. I'll be less um, stressed out, you know what I'm saying? And I'll be doing it so that in a couple years, I can do something way bigger. So I'm, I'll be about 25 when I'm trying to make this move, I'm trying this thing I'm trying to do. And um, I just wanna be successful in what I'm trying to do. So yeah, five years from now, I plan to have a couple locations open. Um, I plan to have them fully functional where I don't have to be there. Um, I plan to have a lot more advertisements 
by then I hopefully I bought a nice home one that fits me and suits me um, and of course I would like for my building locations to be bought I would like to do more advertisement online all that good stuff so like if y'all haven't already make sure y'all go check out the website even if you just go look at it dramahair.com I sell bundles and I offer up to like 40 inches so whatever you need honey I got it and it's good weave okay some real good weave this weave I got in, I had in for a year. Well, no, not had in for a year, but I know for sure I wore this here a year straight. And now I just put it back in and yeah, still flawless, okay? So make sure y'all go check it out. But um, other than that, yeah, I mean, that wraps it up. Y'all can comment down below any more comments that y'all, I mean, any more questions that y'all have and I'll put it in my next, uh, my next Q&A. Um, I hope I, I hope you understand where I'm coming from. This is my client calling y'all. <laughs> I hope y'all understand where I'm coming from. And as always, I love y'all and I thank y'all so much for supporting me. I thank y'all so much for everything you've done watching this video. Thank you. Um, I love you guys and I guess I will holler at y'all in my next one. As always, it's your girl Chingling and this thing and I'll be back again with another video. Bye. Building for eternity